Today, we are going to show you how to create auto guidance paths using the Active Captain app on your compatible smartphone or tablet. For this process, we will be using a compatible Apple iPhone with the Active Captain app installed. But the process is similar on compatible Apple iPads and compatible Android smartphones and tablets. You must have an Active Chart subscription on your Garmin account to use the auto guidance feature on the Active Captain app. Follow the link below for more help with purchasing or activating chart subscriptions. First, open the Active Captain app. Then, select the chart icon at the bottom of the screen. Charts must be downloaded to the Active Captain app to use auto guidance. Select the menu button in the top right to begin. Select Download Charts. Adjust the blue rectangle on the map to include the location you want to download. You can also adjust the rectangle by moving one of the corners. Then, select Download. Select the correct chart if you have more than one subscription. Next, navigate to Settings in the bottom right corner once the charts have been downloaded. Select Auto Guidance Settings. Here, you will need to set your parameters for your boat. Preferred depth sets the minimum water depth your boat can travel. Vertical clearance sets the minimum height of a bridge or obstacle your boat can safely travel under. Shoreline distance sets how close to the shore you want the auto guidance path to be placed. The path may move if you change this setting while navigating. The available values for this setting are relative, not absolute. Navigate back to the chart screen once your auto guidance parameters are set. You must be on a body of water to create a path for auto guidance to work properly. These next steps will show you how to move your boat if you are at home and not on the water. Move the chart to the area you plan to navigate. Tap on the spot you want to navigate from. This can be a marina, point of interest, or waypoint you created. Then, select the three dots on the bottom of the circle. Select the Place button indicated by a boat icon. The boat is now placed in the area you selected. Repeat the steps if you need to move the boat again. Next, select an area you want to navigate by tapping the screen. Select the path icon when the circle appears. Select Auto Guidance. A purple line will then display showing you the recommended path based off your parameters set for auto guidance. The path can be adjusted if you see any caution symbols or hazards. Caution symbols appear if the path contains an area not set around your parameters, like depth and shoreline distance, or hazard areas like bridges. Paths can be adjusted in case an area is too close or far from the shoreline. Tap on the purple line where you want to move your path. A black circle with arrows will display. Press and hold the black circle and move it in the direction you want the path. You can continue to do this if more adjustments are needed. Give the auto guidance path a name. A generic name will be created if you do not make one. Select Save in the top right corner. The auto guidance path is now saved in the Active Captain app under User Data. You can also utilize Sync and Navigate for the auto guidance path when connected to a compatible chart plotter. Select the auto guidance path on the compatible smartphone. Select the path when the circle appears. There are many options on the path screen. Renaming a path, editing on the chart, viewing on the chart, sync and navigating, and more. Select sync and navigate. Your chart plotter will prompt a message to accept the auto guidance path if connected to the chart plotter. Select Yes on the chart plotter to accept the auto guidance path transfer from the mobile device. 
The chart plotter will then display the auto guidance path. Here you can select hazard reviews to review any hazards, edit or save the auto guidance path, delete or navigate to. You can continue to navigate the path using the Active Captain app or create more auto guidance paths on the mobile device. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please subscribe to the Garmin Support YouTube channel or visit marinesupport.garmin.com.